Hello and welcome, today in this video we'll try to find out is it possible to connect NVMe SSD to an old PC. Let's go. This is my second PC and it has Intel i7 3770K and Asus Z77A motherboard. As you can see this motherboard was released on January 2014. It was almost 10 years ago. And as you may notice it doesn't have M2 ports. So you can't connect NVMe SSD to this motherboard. But fortunately there is an adapter that makes it possible to do. All links will be in the description. But how it can be possible? It's possible because NVMe SSD has PCI Express interface. It means you can connect it to any motherboard which has PCI Express slot. And of course you will need at least Windows 7 which has NVMe drivers installed. So all I need is to plug my NVMe SSD to the adapter and then connect it to an old motherboard. Looks easy, right? But no. To increase PC performance, we need to boot Windows directly from NVMe SSD. But there is a problem. BIOS on this motherboard is too old. It doesn't support booting from NVMe SSD. And I think it will be stupid to use NVMe SSD for keeping files. We must boot from it to enjoy the performance. Luckily, I found a site which has modified BIOS archive, which makes possible to boot from NVMe on old motherboards. It's on Russian and I don't know if there are similar sites on English, so I will add all files to my Patreon page with a guide translated into English. All links will be in the description. I was quite lucky, because the list contains modified bias for my ASUS motherboard. Ok, first of all, according to the instructions, I will need to create a backup of my bias. Otherwise, there is a chance that I will get a bricked motherboard. Which of course I don't want to happen, but this is a YouTube video, so I will take the risk. And anyway, it's impossible to do in this BIOS, even if you will use special software called ASUS BIOS Updater. As you can see, the error message appears. I will use an NVMe SSD called FICWOT FN501. It has a maximum read speed 3.5 GB per second. It has great reviews. I think it will be perfect for my test. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. That's how it looks. Now we'll connect it to my PC. By the way, I got an exclusive discount of 5% for you. You can use this code on Amazon. Ok, now let's try to update BIOS, the modified version. We can update it directly from the BIOS. All we need is to select the file. Do you want to read this file? Yes. And the error message appears. Security verification failed. Ok, it wasn't so easy as I thought. So that's all. This is the end. Of course not. Because there is a way to update BIOS directly from Windows. We need to download special software called ASUS AI Suite. Now go to Update and select the Update BIOS from File. Then select the modified BIOS. Click Next and press Flash. Update BIOS succeeded. Let's see how well that worked. According to the instructions, a boot option called PayTSS should appear. But nothing happened. It just reboots and that's all. I even tried to install Windows 11. It detects our SSD. And as you can see, the installation begins without any problems. But after rebooting, it cannot boot from the NVMe drive. This error will appear. In fact, I made a mistake. Because first you need to select the OG BIOS. And then before clicking Next, replace it to the modified BIOS version. By the way, the name must be the same as the OG file. And only after this, click Next and press Flash. Updating BIOS, please wait. My mouse is lagging, I hope this action won't break my motherboard. Update BIOS succeed. Ok, great. Let's try to reboot. Oof, it was very scary. Hmm, something changed. It asks us to press F1. This message didn't appear before. The modified BIOS was updated successfully, but there is no PayTSS boot option in the menu. Yes, that's not all. To make PayTSS option appear, we need to go to Boot, Find CSM. Select Auto, then find Secure Boot menu, select Other OS. And in some cases, it's recommended to disable Fast Boot. Save configuration. And it's working. As you can see, now we have PayTSS. And now we can boot from our NVMe SSD. Ok, now let's install Windows 11 on it. Here in my notice the NVMe SSD. So I just select it and press Next. And the setup begins. And now as you can see we have Windows Boot Manager, which is located on NVMe SSD. So now finally we can boot Windows from it. And it works. Very nice. 
Let's see how fast now it boots. And we have 19 seconds. It's a great value, I think. By the way, from SATA SSD, it boots in 35 seconds. So we have almost double increase of the boot speed, which is just impressive. By the way, there is an easier way without flashing bias. You can just write the boot sector on any SATA SSD, boot from USB flash drive, then during Windows installation, select the NVMe disk and install Windows files there. After this, when you will try to boot, the operating system will start correctly. Okay, now we need to check the speed of the disk. I will use Crystal Disk Mark. Let's see what we got. And somehow we have lower speed. It must be 3.5 GB per second, but it shows only 1.5 GB. Don't worry, the SSD is fine. The reason why this happened is PCI Express slot. A Z77 motherboard has two PCI Express slots, but they have different versions. The first has 3.0 PCI Express version, and the second which is using for our SSD has 2.0 version. And that's the reason why we have lower speed. That's why now we'll connect our SSD to PCI Express 3.0 slot. And let's see what will happen. And now it works at full speed. Nice. What about performance? System performance has increased. Look how fast it works. Very fast. Ok, let's test the games. Now I can see the footage of Fortnite gameplay on SATA SSD. And it freezes sometimes. But if I use NVMe SSD, it becomes very smooth. That's great, but you should remember one thing. FPS doesn't depend on SSD speed. So we can boot faster, have smoother texture loading and better Windows performance, but it doesn't affect FPS. Let's test control and it's also working very well. I didn't stop there and I think it would be very interesting to test NVMe performance on Windows 7, because initially Windows 7 was installed on this PC. I will use special Windows 7 ISO, which has NVMe drivers. You can download this ISO from my Patreon page. All the links will be in the description. Ok, let's install it. Select an hour SSD and the setup begins. Oh, the error message appears. In my experience, to fix the issue, we need to unplug all SATA disks. And it works! Type username and it loaded successfully. Ok, now we need to install all drivers from the official manufacturer side. Done? Let's test how fast it boots. Oh my god, it turned off in just one second. This is insane speed. Ok, let's turn it on. And we have 17 seconds. Looks like now Facebook is working properly. Because during Windows 11 boot, we had post messages, but here we don't have any of them. Ok, let's check the performance. Oh my god, look how fast it works. Internet Explorer opens instantly. File Explorer works very fast too. Let's try Google Chrome. It opens instantly too. Unbelievable. The speed is insane. It even works faster than my Intel i9-9900K on Windows 11. Amazing. This is exactly what I'm looking for in a PC. I mean when the user don't wait loading the app. Let's try to play that space. I just want to check how fast it loads. Right now my monitor is connected to integrated graphics. That's why it shows low FPS. Wow, it loads instantly. It also depends on the level, of course. When the first time play this game on my old PC, it didn't load that fast. Let's try to play Half-Life App Link. And we have some artifacts, but the game is working well. So we can say that NVMe SSD has significantly increased Windows performance on an old PC. It's like a new birth of the computer. Unfortunately, Windows 7 is not supported anymore. So we can't use it without issues, because some modern games and apps will work incorrectly. For example, when I try to run Fortnite on Windows 7, it shows this error. I think it would be great to use Windows 7 today on a modern computer. The performance would be insane. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will try to connect an NVMe SSD to on an older PC with Pentium 4 inside. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.